Hello, this is Dr. Chintamani Gurbole, and in this video, I would like to discuss about ERAS, which is Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, and how it is different compared to standard post-operative care. Following any intestinal surgery, a patient usually stays in the hospital for at least three to five days. Typically, if we follow the traditional post-operative care pathway, the patient is kept nil by mouth, which means patient is not allowed to eat or drink anything for a few days. The clinician then assesses the recovery of intestinal activity, which is the starting of intestinal movements, what we call as peristalsis. Once the clinician confirms that the intestinal activity has returned, the patient is usually started on liquids followed by solid food. While the patient is nil by mouth, very often the patient has a rice tube, which is a tube which goes through the nose into the stomach of the patient. The purpose of the tube is to drain out all the digestive juices, which otherwise could have caused vomiting to the patient. Ordinarily, in the traditional post-operative recovery pathway, the patient will not have anything to eat or drink for the first three days. However, these practices have now been challenged by something known as ERAS or Enhanced Recovery After Surgery. The whole point of ERAS is to expedite or accelerate the recovery of the patient after intestinal surgery. ERAS has got three components, preoperative, intraoperative and postoperative. The preoperative components mean that the practice of ERAS should start prior to surgery. This is done by preventing the fasting state or reducing the fasting time of the patient prior to surgery. Now, for any general anesthesia to be administered, the patient should not have solid food for at least six hours prior to the surgery. However, ERAS practices allow us to give the patient a glucose drink or a carbohydrate rich drink as late as two hours before the surgery. This reduces the fasting status and the stress and the anxiety that it can cause to the patient. Intraoperative ERAS practices mainly include minimally invasive surgery. Now, if the patient undergoes open abdominal surgery, there will be a long incision, which will cause a lot of post-operative pain, which in turn will inhibit or suppress intestinal activity after surgery. The advantage of minimally access surgery, which includes laparoscopic or robotic surgery, reduces post-operative pain significantly and this in turn results in earlier starting of intestinal activity after the surgery. Under the ERAS pathway, we like to start early feeds to the patient as soon as the patient wakes up from anesthesia. We typically would start 30 to 60 ml of liquids to the patient given on an hour or two hourly basis and this is slowly increased in volume and also in consistency of the liquid. Research has shown that early starting of feeds actually results in early start of intestinal activity and in most patients we do not have to wait for three to five days for this activity to start and patients don't have to stay in a fasting state for a long time. This especially liked by the patients because there's nothing worse than making somebody starve for two to three days just because we want the intestinal activity to start. The next component in the ERAS pathway is early mobilization of patient after surgery. Most patients will now undergo minimally invasive surgery. Therefore, the post-operative pain is not a significant issue compared to open surgery. We like to mobilize the patient as early as the first day after surgery, where the patient will first sit on the edge of the bed and then will be sat out in a chair as early as the first day. The patient is helped by the physiotherapists and the other supporting staff in taking short walks around the bed or in the corridor as early as the second day after surgery. Research has shown that early mobilization of the patient actually helps in starting of the intestinal activity and the patient is able to eat and drink much earlier compared to the traditional post-operative care pathway. The next component includes early removal of all drains and catheters. After any major gastrointestinal surgery, the patient is very likely to have a urinary catheter, an abdominal drain, a, a Rhine's tube or a central line. Under ERAS care, we like to remove these drains and catheters 
as early as possible whenever it is safe. This not only makes the patient feel better but also enables patient mobilization independently without actually needing any support or help. When these ERAS practices are followed religiously, we see that the patients recover faster and are often discharged early from the hospital. In my practice, I like to implement ERAS in almost all my patients who undergo intestinal surgery and patients are very happy because they can get back to normal activity, they can start eating early and are discharged early from the hospital. Hope you like this video and I would love to hear your experiences especially you or any of your loved ones have had major gastrointestinal surgery and if they have had any problems in the post-operative recovery. Thank you.